all is it to you underneath all that hair? Shit! I would not mess with you! No, I don't need to. Do you know? Do you know? <laughs> Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? Hey, do you nerd for zombies, but maybe you don't want them to get too close to you. Fortunately, we got to talk to... Daryl himself! Not really Daryl. No, we got to meet a really awesome cosplayer, Lars Van Crafter. All right, well, uh, my name's Tom. This is my wife, Lacey, actually. We have a YouTube channel called Do You Nerd? And if you wouldn't mind, would you uh, let us know who you are and what you do? That way we can share that with everybody. Oh, I'll get you. Okay, I'm, my name's Larry. I'm from St. Louis originally. And Norman Reedus and Joe Dixon cosplay around the country. Different various authors, doctors, visuals, vision, of course. It's kind of home for me when I started out doing all this. It's just, just love it. You know, it's, I put it one time, it's small enough for the first time goer to not get overwhelmed, but it's big enough for people who have been to a con to get enough out of it. You know what I'm saying? It's not too small, it's not too big. Perfect fits right in yeah, absolutely. 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 And the, the fact that they're not proud is it's just, it's, it's great. Right. You know, that, that, that really kind of hits home. Yeah. So. Now, so I've been doing this about three, four, going on four years. Four years. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So, how did you start? What, what maybe was the inspiration to get into it? Interesting story. I was, uh, Putting together soda can tops, tabs, just to make a chainmail mail And then everything will okay. Then we started watching the show Vikings. I don't know if you've seen it on the yeah. channel. Yeah, right. it's like, well, I want to do, I want to make Ragnar's costume. So I did, and it was before Halloween. And I finally got it. I said, well, where can we do this? So there were some Halloween contests in St. Louis. I shaved the sides of my head. I had extensions put in for the ponytail, the whole nine yards. Nobody knew who the heck I was. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, back to the drawing board. What else is there? And Julie, my uh, girlfriend, introduced me to Walking Dead. I'm sitting there watching it. She was already three seasons into it, and I hadn't seen it, so I started over. I'm going to do that. I'm going to see if I can do that. And it just blew up and took off, and I had no idea what I was stepping into. I've kept up with the show. I do the mannerisms, the whole nine yards, try to get the boys down. The most authentic look I can do to help with the fans that maybe can't afford to go see Norman type of thing. So it, it really gives them a sense of, oh, that's cool. If I can't do that, I'm going to do it. And you look amazing, by the way. Oh, well, thanks. So. It's absolutely I, I, I do work at it, but now it's almost coming second nature to me. I've been doing this so long, you know, at so many different things. It just, it, it's just easy. Hopefully it's not an issue where you wake up in the morning and start putting those clothes on just to... No, no, but it, it is funny when I just go to work like this, because they get to wear a hat at work. If you want. She's like, everybody's like, no. <laughs> I don't know, what would he be doing here? What would he be doing there? So, but yeah, if I go out just to mess with people, restaurants, movies, whatever. Oh, that's so great. It's, it's fun. Thank it's fun. So you mentioned uh, getting a lot of his mannerisms down. Was there anything in particular that was maybe a little more difficult to try to nail the voice. I mean, first off, like... Whenever Norman speaks, like 20% of you get pregnant. That's how that works. It's kind of, I can do Daryl's voice real easy and talk much. And it's just got to get that rasp, you know, whatever. Go to God, whatever that type of thing. But Norman's he's so laid back and everything. I just, I can't get that pitch perfect. But that's right. Um, but it's difficult. And the costume itself, anything overly challenging with that? Finding the crossbow that's his favorite crossbow. It's a 380. I finally found a friend that found some hunters that wanted to upgrade, so they had no idea what they had. So we ended up with two of them, and that's just like a, a, a godsend right there. But his new knives were, in season nine were the kick, kick arbites. 
<laughs> the same friend that found the crossbows. He said, tell you what, you find the knives, I'll make them look like that. He didn't think I'd find them. <laughs> I found these metal knives that I should have brought them with, but I would have them tomorrow. They're huge. He made the handles out of resin. Did the whole thing, and the hardest thing for him was cutting that metal for the, the teeth on the top. That was the hardest thing. That was it. Well, I'm trying to get the mold. I'm trying to find something. To get oh, yeah. I, I tried special effects people, different things. There is a certain thing that I ran out of. It's a tube. Uh, Derma, derma flash, I think, is who makes it, but it's a tube that puts the two things together, so it's instant, okay. prosthetic type of thing, but I ran out of it. But I got it to work. It just didn't stay on very long, especially if you don't shave. Yeah. yeah, and, yeah it didn't stay. <laughs> so going back to the crossbow, did it inspire you to learn how to use it? I mean, not that you would have. Oh, it, no. Hopefully not. No, because I have a degenerative disc in my neck, which causes pain. And it's, it's basically causing nerve damage, and I had to have surgery. I, I, there's no way I could pull it back, so I didn't even try to, to load it. It's just a prop. Really, I built my first one out of foam and an old gun stock, and it did really good. It looked pretty good, like it. But then when I put it next to the real thing, it was a little bit bigger, and you can you can tell the difference. Right. Yeah. But it was a lot of fun when I started, and I just built the thing and went around with the cut off shirt and bloodied up. And, I'm glad season nine's here because I don't have to do as much stuff. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> don't even have to brush my hair. Nice. But I've let my hair grow just as long as he has just kept up with it. Now, is there anybody else that you're looking forward to cosplay in the future? I do have, well, I've made, I didn't make the guitar, but I did the paint job of Eddie Bedhouse 5150 guitar. Oh, sweet. And I was thinking, well, I've got long hair. He's got a goatee. The theme of it was going to be, well, what if Eddie grew his hair back long? And keep the goatee and dress up in a suit uh, with the red cross cross on his t white T-shirt. Right. I've got that ready to go, but I can't get away from the Norman Darrow thing. It's yeah. just too popular right now. The Heath Ledger Joker from The Dark Knight. Oh, that's the other one that I have one. ready to go. So. Those are two, and then I'd like to do in the future Achilles, the Brad Pitt version. I'd like to get with Bruce and uh, have, help me build that armor for Achilles. That would be a, a really cool one. And that, then uh, Loki, when I got the long hair, I'd like to oh, do nice. the Loki thing. And, I, uh, I think you'd be on board with that. Not, not the old Winter Soldier, but the new one from Black Panther where he's got the black arm. I want to do that one. So, so I've got some I want yeah. to do, but uh, this is just... Uh, it's a moneymaker for me right now, and it's, a, it's a very popular. Right. It's and hard for me to break away from Yeah, it. and you do it so well, so it's, yeah, it's almost like it, it, It's fun. So I'm having fun doing it. If I miss out on the others, then, yeah, oh well. I've got this going. And any advice for anyone looking to get into cosplay? Just have fun with it. That's, that's the main thing. Find out what you love. Stick with it. Because it's about you and what you want to present to everybody else. Make up your own thing. Find a superhero, anime, or whatever that makes you happy in your world that you like. And see if you can do it. Build it, and you can become a different person. If you're an introvert, you can get out there and you can talk to people. And it's not really you, but it's you. You know what I mean? Right. So it just. Be relaxed and do it. I, I was nervous coming in here. I was like, oh gosh, what am I going to do? What am I going to say? But it well, just I don't think you. you're the only one. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, a different thing. So. Well, that's awesome. I think that's great advice. Yeah, yeah, just just uh, stick with it. Don't give up. Don't, there's going to be haters in everything you do. Pay attention to them. If people hate on me, so, you don't know, like them at all. It's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Well, that's Everybody awesome. else does. I don't know what you're talking about. You like the movie yeah. or this is your so, Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Yeah, so, yeah. Thank you for sharing everything with us. And uh, I suppose we should get out of the way. So, someone else. Said. But again, thank you. I really appreciate it so much. And you always look amazing. We always look forward to seeing you at all the conventions. Cool. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. It's nice to know that people, what I'm doing is not just for me, but it's for other people too. Oh, well, absolutely. I'm happy, I'm happy to do it. Well, again, thank you.
Thank you very much, and I hope you have an awesome time at Vision. Oh, me too. I'm sure we will. We always do. Yep. Holy cow. Just talking to Lars. Yes. Uh, I think he even introduced himself as Larry, so whichever name you like. But just talking to him during this interview, I mean, he had the whole Daryl thing going the, the mannerisms, whole time. The voice, he doesn't break character. He's incredible. Yes. Now, I would like to apologize. The room that we were doing the interview in, it was a smaller room. Uh, think of maybe like a classroom size yeah. room and maybe coffee table link yeah. between us talking to Lars. There was another table with another interview going on. So it is a little hard to And it was just basically interview. lined up. So there was everybody that you know was to be interviewed. They were just boom, 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 boom. So and everybody was going all at once. So, so I do apologize for that. It is a little hard to hear him, but uh, we will definitely work harder in the future to have a better mic and you know try to get a better interview. But let's face it, Daryl's kind of quiet, you know. Well, yeah, you so. gotta say, you gotta stay soft spoken <laughs> with all those walkers around. Um, now he he was he was a lot of fun to talk he to was a lot of fun because to uh, he said that he really has a big cosplaying all that long. Mm -mm. You know the thing that actually impressed me the most was because you know when you look at him, you're like, okay, he looks like Norman Reedus. This was a no brainer for him to just cosplay as this. But it's like he actually cosplayed as some other things, and no one knew who he was. He cosplayed as a Viking person. Um, and nobody knew who he was, so he was like, oh crap, I gotta find something else. And he wasn't even a fan of Walking Dead, <laughs> and he'd never even seen it, but his girlfriend was watching it. And then he binged watched it, and got all the mannerisms down, and just became Norman Reedus. And it's like, and that's now his big thing he's known for. And it's like, I didn't expect that. Now, funny enough, we had actually seen Lars cosplaying as Daryl at a few other events mm -hmm. before. Yeah. Uh, Library Con. That was the first time we ever saw him. Right. Yeah. And, and he was just walking around. He didn't have a booth or anything. Yeah, we, we honestly just thought that he was <laughs> this really kick-ass cosplayer mm -hmm. showing up, you know. We didn't realize he was a pro at this. Yeah. And uh, so it's really cool to have been able to sit down and talk to him and to get to know him a little better, you know, because we've crossed paths so many times. Mm -hmm. So. It's, it's about time we got to know him. Yeah. Well, Lars, Larry, thank you so much for sitting down to talk to us again. To you, everybody else, I mm -hmm. do apologize for that audio. Uh, you know, we'll try not to be so crunched next time in a room together. <laughs> Maybe a little less scrunched up. Yeah. Where we, can, we can hear better. But uh, I definitely would love for you guys to like the video and leave some comments down below. If you're a Walking Dead fan, how's he sound? Leave those comments. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. There are more Vision Cod videos coming your way. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so that you can be notified of more Vision Con coming your way. And hit us up over there on Tee Public and get some of our merch because we've always got some fun stuff over there. And we want to see you in our new merchandise. And if we like it, nerdlings, we nerd it. This is more of a <laughs> That's not fair.